Hey, hey here, here we, we go. go. A, block a block of mass, of mass M, M hanging over a pulley of mass M, M pulling, pulling a cylinder, cylinder of mass M, M on a horizontal, horizontal table. table. It ought, it ought to be, be fun, fun figuring, figuring this, this one out. out. Well, now, just who the heck is that voice from the long-gone past, from a bygone era? Oh, I guess it's me from many years ago. Oh, well. Of course, it still is fun to solve such a problem. This is a fantastic problem. So I'll devote this short video to solving this fairly multifaceted problem. It looks kind of interesting. And we begin with basically doing free body force diagrams. So let's start with the cylinder, which is pivoted from a bearing, so the whole thing is rolling. Now keep in mind that the linear acceleration for the entire system is the same, of course. It's all connected. So doing a free body for the cylinder, we have T1 acting across 2R. Right? So there's twice the radius. The radius, by definition, is this pulley radius. That's R. This is just simply twice that. And there's friction on the table. And it's sufficient. This friction is sufficient to keep this cylinder from slipping or skidding. So it begins to roll up from the torque provided by the friction. Some of the forces is MA, and that would be T1 minus F is MA. T1 wins, and the thing translationally accelerates. Very good. Moreover, the sum of the torques is 2R times F, and that's I alpha. And alpha is A over R, but A is constant in the whole system, but the radius is twice r. So there is our second equation. And now let's do a free body for the pulley. Once again, we have this extended free body. T1, T2, and you know who wins, that would be T2. They're both working through r. So we have some of the torques is T2r minus T1r, and that's I2 alpha, which is A over r. So there's our third equation. And finally, we have the free body for the block. So here's the block. T2, Mg, Mg wins. Actually, it's Mg that's accelerating the whole thing. Mg minus T2 is Ma. So we really have four equations to solve. Well, let's, let's rewrite this one here. So we have 2R, recognizing that F can be brought over here. So F is T1 minus Ma. So let's go ahead and stick that in for this F. T1 minus MA, and that's I1 A over 2R. Now we have three simultaneous equations to solve, so let's do it. So here's our three equations that we have. One, two, and three. What are we going to do with these? Well, we're going to eliminate the tension, so let's rewrite them. T1, getting T1 by itself here. I'm going to divide through by 2R on both sides get that by itself. So we have I1A over 4R squared and then plus MA because that's sitting there by itself. There's T1. How about the next one? Well, divide through by R and we get T2 minus T1 is I2A over R squared. And the third one is bring MG over to the other side, MA minus MG. Now let's add these. And when we add them, notice T1 plus T2 minus T1 minus T2 is 0. And that's equal to, well, an A over R squared factors out of this term and this term. So we have 1 fourth and, well, I1 over 4, I should say. I1 over 4 and I2 by itself. Takes care of these two terms. And we still have MA and this. So plus M. 2A, actually, MA and MA is 2MA, there it is, and MG. All right, what are we going to do with this? Well, we can multiply both sides by R squared. Left side, nothing happens. Right side, we eliminate this term. That's kind of nice. And we have A times I1 over 4 plus I2. And then R squared times M times 2A, there's that. So we're basically getting M, R, squared g by itself on the other side. So there's some algebra for you. And now, what is the acceleration at this stage? We're trying to find mr squared g over 
I1 over 4 plus I2 plus 2MR squared. So we have the moments of inertia, 1 and 2. We can still expand. So let's finish the problem. Okay, so here's our latest result right up here. And let's expand the moments of inertia. So we have acceleration is MR squared G over 1 half M 2R squared over 4, as indicated here, plus I2, which is 1 half MR squared plus 2 MR squared. Now watch what happens now. Oh, the beautiful cancellation sequence. I just love it when that happens. And all that's left is g over 1 half plus 1 half plus 2, which is g over 3. Isn't, Isn't it satisfying, satisfying when the result, the result is, so is so nice and, and simple? simple? I said, isn't it satisfying when the result is so nice and simple? Oh my gosh, somebody seriously needs to get a life. And I'm really not sure who that is.